Hey guys, Eastwood Prepper here. Today we've got the five longest shelf life items that you can buy at the store. Once we get back, we'll jump right into it. All right, guys, welcome back to the channel. If you guys aren't a subscriber, please go ahead and subscribe and hit that like button. I would really appreciate it. So I just want to apologize and tell you that my backdrop is my beautiful but ugly backyard. The tree looks beautiful, but the backyard itself looks like, you know, the, the ass end of a donkey. But go ahead and starting off with our first item is honey. It's the 100% pure honey. You want to make sure that it's the raw, unpasteurized, and unfiltered, no additives. Honey can be stored for years and years. It won't go bad. If you open it and it looks a little, looks a little off, a little dry, just throw that in, inside of a pan and heat it up. It, it'll be good to go. But you can also use honey for uh, medicinal purposes. So honey is number one. Number two is salt. Salt can be used for multiple different things other than, you know, making your food taste better, right? But you've got the, the iodized salt. Iodine, you know, can be used to uh, provide nutrients to yourself and also make, make your food taste better. It's, it's a buffer. That's what pepper and salt are. They're buffers. So, salt can basically last you forever if it's kept dry so salt is number two on our on our list number three on our list is beans canned beans or dried beans can be kept for years and years and years with good with good shelf life just as long as it's kept properly inside uh, enclosed uh, airtight uh, mylar bags or inside the the cans the number 10 cans this one the expiration date it states that it should be good up until 2026 but we all know that uh, canned goods they can last for years and years if they're kept at you know good temperatures it's not exposed to uh, drastic changes in temperatures such as heat and cold so uh, Canned beans have dated back since the 1800s. So canned goods, canned beans, throw this with some rice and you've got yourself a good, uh, well-balanced meal. As, as well as, you know, other types of meats and proteins that you can put in. So beans is number three on our list with long shelf life. Number four is flour. Flour can last up to 15... To, I'm sorry, 15 to 20 years if kept dry, obviously. But you want to take this flour out of the store-bought package and put it inside of a uh, mylar bag, seal that up. But you also want to put the oxygen absorbers inside that mylar bag and then seal it up. So I apologize. So oxygen absorbers first and then seal that up and get all the air out as much as you can. You want to put this inside of a five gallon bucket. Obviously you want to have more, as much in that bucket as you can, but then seal that and store that in a, you know, a, a well, well fortified place, just in case there's any type of critters that get inside. And you want to make sure that you put that lid on there tight. But also you want to make sure that you're labeling everything that you put inside those buckets so you're not having to open up something and not realize what it is because if you're not labeling your your flour correctly you could open up your flour bucket but there be salt in there you know so that's why your labeling is very very important so your your flours your sugars your salts and your other spices you want to make sure that you label those exactly what's in those bags and when you put those in there so number four is flour and number five on our list, and everyone's favorite, and one of the most common prepper foods, is ramen. It could be top ramen, maruchan, it doesn't, it doesn't matter. I mean, it's basically the same stuff. I prefer top ramen, but this is just the package that I picked up today. 
We all know that ramen is very, very cheap. It's good, but also the shelf life. So that's why it makes the list because it falls under, you know, the cheap, the good, and the long preservative. Preservative. I'm sorry, I cannot talk today. But you also, it would probably be a good idea to take uh, these packages out of the, the store-bought packages and store them, I don't know, maybe four to six in each package and then uh, put oxygen absorbers in there and then use Mylar bags. That way that you're preserving uh, the noodles themselves, it would last longer than these little dingy little plastic uh, bags that they come inside. But just make sure that you're putting those flavors inside that my, uh, the Mylar bags before you seal them up properly. But ramen can last years, years, and most likely decades. I haven't eaten 10-year-old ramen before, but all I know is that it is the only thing that lasts longer than college is the, you know, the student debts. So it'll last longer than student debts, I'm sure. But the whole point is ramen noodle. It's definitely one of those things that makes the list long shelf life. As long as you're taking care of it and it's staying dry and you're, you're sealing it up properly, as long as uh, no critters or there's any uh, dents and cuts inside the packages, It'll last, I'd say, well over 10, 15 years. So at that point, you probably might want to get rid of some of these things and cycle through them just to keep your stuff fresh. And, and um, also, I have uh, a couple more items that I want to show you that I feel like are good ideas to have inside your prepper pantry. So just stay tuned. Just give me one second. I got to get it all set up. Okay, guys, we're back, and as you can see, I've got all five of these items that have really long shelf life, but I also wanted to add these couple two items right here to the left, and that's mix and drink instant non-fat milk, which is basically powdered milk, and it's real milk, and it's for drinking and baking anytime, anywhere, so you can use this for not only drinking, but baking as well, and it's high in vitamins A and D with high protein. So this is a good item to go ahead and add to your prepper pantry, but also I would recommend taking it out of the store-bought package as always and storing it inside Mylar bags just to keep uh, this stuff fresh for as long as you can. And I'd assume that since it's powdered that you can keep it for years and years and it should be good. I also wanted to add some instant yeast. Yeast, if you're familiar with the baking side, is good for breads. It makes the bread rise, and you know it, it just makes it more enjoyable than just having normal, boring-ass flat bread. So, yeast. This little thing was actually really expensive for what it is. Even though it comes in its own little Mylar bag, this little, little package right here was close to like two and a half dollars. Yes, that doesn't sound like much, but for how big it is, it's really not that big, you know, comp compared to like the size of my hand. It's really, it's really not that big. But for what it is, you're, you're able to store those for, you know, years and years too. This expiration date says 2025. I feel like it's safe to just go ahead and grab a couple of those every time you go to the store. Maybe not every time, but maybe once every every other time. And maybe some flour. Then guess what? If you store the yeast and the flour not together, but close to each other, you'll have bread, you know, for years. Okay? So, that's my list. If you guys agree with it, uh, send me a like and please subscribe to the channel. If you didn't agree with it, then please uh, leave a comment down in the, the comment section. I would really appreciate it. But, as always, be prepared, stay prepared, be safe.